without uh, public finance. Prayer. Just thank you for that answer. The report by the Transport Select Committee on the airport's national policy statement said, quote, the lakeside energy from waste plants should be granted equivalent recognition as the immigration removal centres and that the replacement of its facilities be accounted for in the DCO process. So can the Secretary of State confirm that his department has assessed any infrastructure upgrade needed, like roads and power lines, to accommodate the relocation, and will those costs um, be met by the taxpayer? Well, uh, Mr Speaker, first of all, could I actually extend my thanks to the Select Committee, who I think produced a very thoughtful response uh, report. We will be responding to it in detail uh, very shortly, uh, and indeed my officials are um, speaking to the Chair of that Committee to make sure she's uh, fully up to speed with how we're handling all of this. Um, in terms of the waste, uh, waste plant, it is of course absolutely essential that uh, pr appropriate provision is made. Uh, I have to say I think that provision should be funded by the airport as part of the work it does. I don't see why the taxpayer should bear the cost for that, but I give them assurance that it and other facilities and communities around the airport are very much on my department's minds as we take these matters forward. Ruth Cadbury. Thank you, Mr Speaker. The Transport Select Committee report on the National Policy Statement found that the North West Runway proposal at Heathrow has little, if any, advantage over other schemes and even doing nothing at all for passenger growth, for numbers and frequencies of long-haul routes, or, uh, and it will actually cut international links for non-UK, uh, non-London regions and have little economic benefit to the UK. So is the government pushing ahead with this hugely expensive and environmentally damaging project? Well, uh, Mr Speaker, when I'm ready to update the House, I will, of course, come back in person and do so. What I would say to her is that the committee recommended that the government progress with its work. It made a number of uh, very helpful and constructive suggestions about elements that be included within that work. Um, but I, I remain absolutely of the view that airport expansion is necessary for the economy of this country. The important thing is we deliver it in the best possible way for local communities. Gwen Hopkins. Can I suggest to the Secretary of State that a much cheaper and practicable alternative to the Heathrow third runway would be to use the considerable spare capacity and long runway at Birmingham Airport by electrifying and upgrading the Chiltern Railway line and linking it to Crossrail. This will provide for a fast, direct, non-stop shuttle service between central London and Birmingham Airport and help solve the South East Airport capacity problem. Would it give serious consideration to this proposal? Speaker, of course, the, um, uh, the arrival of HS2 uh, with projected future growth in passengers uh, uh, at our airports will provide an alternative. Uh, he's absolutely right about that, and a bit of competition between airports, which is no bad thing. Uh, but I don't think it's either one or the other. Order. The Honourable Gentleman, the Member for Kingston upon Hull East, has had to be away for a period. We have missed him, and I think I speak for colleagues in warmly welcoming him back yeah. to the chamber. Carl Turner. Yeah, yeah. That's very kind, Mr Speaker. Thank you very much indeed. Can the Secretary of State confirm if he'll be revising the airport national policy statement in light of those 25 recommendations from the Transport Select Committee? Well, Mr Speaker, um, I know the Honourable Gentleman and I can sometimes spar vigorously across this House, but I would echo uh, your, your words to him. Uh, I would say to him, that if he'll forgive me, I don't think it's appropriate to talk about our response to the Select Committee report before it's published. That will happen shortly. I can simply give him an assurance that we're taking those recommendations very seriously uh, and that I would certainly want to see uh, uh, many of the recommendations embedded in our planning as these matters go forward. Thank you. Andrew Bowie. Love you, sir. 